Phil and I go back as far as uh, when I joined Tamanga Paho and um, Phil's pretty easy going um, but he knew what he wanted. Concert tonight's awesome, um, just a bit of a celebration for everyone here tonight that's in remembrance of uh, Phil and what he's done for Māori music, not only Māori music, um, for music in general. And I go back some years. Uh, first met the man when I worked for the Mangai Bowl. And uh, he had some ideas about promoting Māori language music that was revolutionary. A lot of the, a lot, a lot of that early stuff was around um, people not reckoning or realizing that you know Phil had a Maori side to. The vehicle he drove, and uh, he told me once that. The only reason he drove Range Rover was because uh, it was the only vehicle that he could slip and slide out of easily. There's a legacy, there's a legacy and I only hope that uh, it continues and I'll, uh, you know, in whatever way I or people like myself can um, contribute to it, we'll make it happen. Just a guy who was always there in the background at gigs. Um, he was never, you know, the one to stand up front and, and, you know, be the one that was seen. He was always in the background doing his thing, doing the groundwork, doing the hard stuff. Um, he was a really hard worker when, you know, when you put it all together. Um, so yeah, that was the kind of guy he was to me. By far he's influenced so many people's music, including um, Il Semantics, definitely. Um, it wouldn't be at the stage it is now if it wasn't for him, so definitely has. Come, come, the Phil already appreciated the, the value and the level that Aotearoa hip hop and, and, and music in general is at. Um, and now I, I can just imagine him looking down now going, yep, that was me, you know, that's my family down there, they're doing it, they're keeping it alive, so I think we're great. He's like, to me, he's a wizard, a mentor, a friend, a father, cousin, brother. The genius of all geniuses, man. That's all it was, good times. Bad times, good times. You know? He was like our daddy. Looked after us. We were like young dudes there. Yeah. Took us out the hood. Yeah, man. And, um, yeah. There's too many memories, like you need to sit down with us for a couple of days <laughs> and edit out what you need. <laughs> he was someone special, man.
I recorded half the album at the Urban Pacifica Studios in Manica and um, basically Phil took me under his wing and actually showed me the ropes of, of, of um, the ins and outs of being in the studio and the putting together of an album so he really helped me with that. Like I, I probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Phil. Actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. We both would have been here. Yeah. We're, like all of us are doing our thing and that's that's what he wanted to see was to all of us to get our shine on and to get our music out there and to have the quality of the music at an international level. That's, you know, that was his dream to have one of us overseas in America especially just doing our thing and sharing our music with the world. Oh hell yeah, for show for show. She cousins on the radio. Uh -huh. Jump Child was the meeting point. That yeah. was our meeting point. He took us to Jump Child just to. That was to, uh, for me. I, I think it was to show that we could get together and eat something out of new and talk. You know, some not business, but. Just, just, to just to hang and show them, yeah, you know, just you know, teach us things. Just the fun again, nice and uh, live and direct. Uh, before we finish, we've got one more song to do. Uh, we'd like to pay tribute to uh, Phil Fuimana. He actually remixed one of our songs. So, uh, he uh, actually had a, a huge influence on my life. CXL's life, Nemesis' life, Will Semantic's life. Just being Polynesian and just putting out the stone music and raising the level each time. So make some noise for Full Free Minor. Come on! Yeah, he remixed the song called Watching You. Because there's a sort of two step remix, it's a bit fast for us to do. So we're just gonna drop the highway for him purely because it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Yeah, yeah. And he was in hospital. And like I got a text, he sent me a text saying he was in hospital. You know, he tried to play the whole thing down to us and he, he wanted to keep us happy. So, you know, when I got the text say he was in the hospital, I was like, oh my gosh, let's go see him. So I went and see him, I went and saw him. And I was, I went to the hospital, you know, prepared to be sad and to, you know, to feel sorry for my friend. And when we went to the hospital, he just cracked jokes the whole time we were in there. And we walked out, like me and my friend Kendall, we walked out like, he just conned us. You know, he robbed us of feeling love and feeling sorry for him, you know. And like he made us laugh the whole time, and that was Phil always trying to ease the pain on others, you know, just like help others, like like he just always trying to put others at ease, and he didn't want to see anyone sad. And that was my last memory of him, was him just cracking us up, and us walking out of the hospital laughing, feeling, oh my, man, did he just make us laugh the whole time? I'm like man, that's that's Phil, just love. He wanted us as people to be happy and not to worry. You see, baby girl. You see how you make a brother. And when he's not at the mixing desk, he'll be at the bar. He'll text, he'll text everyone out the blue. Where are you? Meet me at Yum Shop. Ten minutes. The music for me, there's some beats for me. We, I still remember the time when we went down Taranga, I said the night, went down Wellington, did a gig in uh, Wellington and uh, yeah, Phil was awesome, man. he was a real good mate of mine. I'll never forget him, I'll never forget that day. I think so, I mean, he pretty much had his hand in nearly every band that's performing tonight, so it's like a real good tribute to him. time ago we've been sort of semi-business partners in a few projects. Uh, I got one of his uh, head producers to help me out with my first record. So we've done our thing together back in the day. He's a lovely man, you know what I mean? He's a lovely man, hard worker. I mean he's been pretty much a hardcore advocate advocate for uh, hip-hop music and R&B here in this country and he's been uh, like a custodian of it, he looks after it and looks after the people. I think so, I mean he set the platform, he built it up from the ground up and uh, I think from here it's a great place to jump off and progress further. 
up to me and he says, dude, why are you performing with those white guys for? And I'm like, dude, you perform with Mary J. What are you saying? So you know what I mean? <laughs> so so yeah, I got a lot of love for the man.